Welcome to Insightful Gaming. Today, I'm sharing my personal favorite and possibly the most powerful melee titan build in the game. Imagine having endless shield throws and gaining an overshield with every throw and infinite grenade energy. This build provides back-to-back -back supers, making you feel like Captain America. You'll become an unstoppable shield throwing machine. But that's just the beginning. With this build, you could effortlessly handle tough game content, healing and shielding through all the damage with the power of our build. The build focuses on shield throws and synergizes well with the rest of our setup. If this video piques your interest and gets you pumped, don't forget to smash that like button and share your favorite build in the comments. Let's dive in. The gameplay and combo for this build are simple and easy to pull off. Begin by throwing a grenade to kick off the fight. As your grenade damages the enemies, you'll gain melee energy and void explosions will make your enemies volatile. Feel free to use your shield throw to take out groups of enemies or break barrier champion shields in a single throw. Our shield throw helps us get over shields, which in turn provides us with a huge amount of grenade energy. With our exotic, second chance, we gain an extra shield throw and the ability to destroy barrier champion shields in just one throw. Our grenades and shield throws will create orbs of power, giving us a constant supply of grenade and melee energy. This combo lets you throw shields back to back while regenerating grenade and melee energy. This build is incredibly powerful and we haven't even discussed our armor mods yet. These mods further boost the build by focusing on energy regeneration and turning our shield throws into powerhouses. In between ability cooldowns, use your Monte Carlo to regain melee energy, so you can keep launching those shield throws and continuously reset your damage combo. Now that we've covered the overall gameplay, let's dive into our aspects. Our dynamic duo today is the incredible controlled demolition and offensive bulwark. These two gems will transform your void abilities into a fantastic firework show, impressing you and your teammates. First, let's talk about Control Demolition, the master of chaos. This aspect applies volatile to your void abilities like grenades and melee. When you attack volatile enemies, they'll explode. What's even better is if another enemy is caught in the explosion, they become volatile too. It's like a chain reaction of volatile explosions. Plus, you and your nearby allies heal for an amazing 90 HP each time you create a volatile explosion. With volatile rounds, you'll be defeating enemies rapidly, healing yourself and your teammates in no time. But the excitement doesn't end there. Control Demolition partners beautifully with fragments where void ability final blows also cause targets to explode. Now, let's introduce the second part of this dynamic duo, Offensive Bulwark. This powerful aspect activates when you have an overshield or standing inside your Ward of Dawn. It increases your grenade regeneration by 400% and boosts your melee range and damage. What's even more amazing is that with an overshield, you get a huge amount of grenade energy. Let's dive into the abilities we're using to make this build even stronger. First up, Ward of Dawn. This ability creates an indestructible dome to protect you and your allies. Not only will you be protected, but passing through Ward of Dawn will also grant a temporary boost to weapon damage and provide overshields for you and your team. This super is a game changer and with the amount of orbs we'll be generating, you can keep activating it fairly often to keep the area protected. Let's talk about our grenade. We've got the Vortex Grenade, one of the best grenades in the game for killing enemies with damage over time. Of course, feel free to use whatever grenade you prefer, but we highly recommend the Vortex Grenade for maximum effectiveness. And for our barricade, we're using the Rally Barricade for increased reload speed, stability, and lower cooldown. Rally Barricade has a 10 second faster cooldown than other barricades. Now, let's talk about movement. We're using Strafe Lift, but of course, feel free to choose your preferred movement ability. And last but not least, our melee of choice is Shield Throw, which offers a range option and provides overshields when used on targets far away. Let's talk about Fragments. Echo of Provision gives you melee energy when you damage enemies with grenades. Echo of Starvation provides Devour when you pick up a Void Breach or Orb of Power. Echo of Exchange grants grenade energy when you land melee final blows, with the amount depending on the enemy's rank. We're also using Echo of Explosion, which causes targets to explode when defeated by your Void Ability Final Blows. Combined with your Shield Throws, you'll be creating explosions among enemies left and right. This is how I like to run my fragments, but please feel free to customize your fragment selection to create the perfect Void build to fit your playstyle. Let's examine the weapons that make this build unstoppable. Our top pick is the Exotic Monte Carlo, an excellent choice for builds focusing on melee abilities. Monte Carlo has become one of Destiny 2's best auto-rifles after the 30th anniversary updates. With recent ability cooldown nurse, anything that bypasses cooldowns has become much more valuable. That's where Monte Carlo shines. 
This weapon provides virtually unlimited melee charges for both PvE and PvP. Unleashing a magazine on a target grants continuous melee energy. Defeating an enemy might instantly give you a charge, allowing you to use melee abilities back to back. The Markov Chain also boosts Monte Carlo's damage, making it suitable for most PvE content, and a fantastic all-around exotic for all game types. It's particularly effective in the Crucible. Let's discuss the armor mods that make this build extremely powerful. These mods focus on generating orbs of power and recharging our abilities and super. Our mods are set up to achieve three things. Generate lots of super energy for back-to-back -back supers, provide infinite melee, and ensure a steady flow of grenades and class abilities. With that, let's examine our mods. On the helmet, we use two hands-on mods for super energy for melee kills, as we'll have many shield for spams. We also use powerful friends to grant one armor charge to nearby allies. Alternatively, you can use ashes to assets for more super energy. Swap between them based on the situation. Next, on gauntlets, we use heavy-handed, generating orbs of power on powered melee final blows. We choose mods that work well with shield throws. We also use one impact induction for quick grenade recharge through shield throws, resulting in infinite grenade energy. Finally, we use melee kickstart, granting melee energy by consuming three armor charge stacks. On the chest, we use two charged up mods to increase the maximum armor stacks, helping carry more armor charges for melee kickstart. On the legs, we use two innervation mods to reduce grenade cooldown when picking up orbs of power and stacks on stacks for an additional armor charge stack when picking up orbs of power. Finally, on our Titan Mark, we use two bomber mods to reduce grenade cooldown when using class abilities and the Reaper mod, generating an orb of power after using a class ability and landing the next weapon blow. Let's quickly go over our seasonal mods. For the first row, it really depends on your preference and weapon choice. If you're rocking a submachine gun, the submachine overload mod is perfect. If you're into scout rifles, the unstoppable scout rifle mod is the way to go. And if you're using bows, the overlord mod is ideal. Plus, if you're using the wish ender, you can also get anti-barrier capability that comes with the wish ender. And don't forget the anti-barrier pulse rifle and sidearm mod for taking down barrier champions. But here's the thing, your subclass can also give you the power to defeat champions. For example, if you're using the Arc subclass, you can stun unstoppable champions with the blind or blinding aspects. If you're using Solar, Ignition Damage will stun them. And if you're using Stasis, Shatter Damage will stun them. And if you're using the Strand subclass, the Suspend aspect will suspend unstoppable champions, which also stuns them. Best of all, these mods are passive and don't require any slotting. Let's now shift our focus to the second row of seasonal mods. Here, we have the Multi-Siphon mod, which combines the effects of the Strand, Solar, and Void Siphon mods in your helmet. This is particularly useful if you use different energy weapons and want to generate orbs with both types of weapons. Moving on to the next four mods, they reduce the energy costs of your armor mods that affect your Solar, Strand, Void weapons, and grenades. For instance, with the Solar Surge mod, you can cut the energy cost of each mod from 3 to 1, which is super effective. In the third row, the first four mods do not benefit this build. However, let's talk about the most crucial mod in the third row, which is Volatile Flow. This mod provides a significant boost to your Void Weapons. Whenever you pick up an Orb of Power, your Void Weapons are granted Volatile Rounds, which significantly enhances your damage output and allows you to take down enemies more efficiently. This is precisely why we didn't choose the Fragment that gives us Volatile Rounds on Grenade Kills, as this mod is far more effective. Moving on to the fourth row, the most essential mod for our Void build is Bricks from Beyond. This mod eliminates the need to run a Heavy Ammo Finder mod, as it grants heavy ammo for you and your allies every time you kill powerful combatants with a Void weapon. This means that you'll have unlimited heavy ammo and won't know what to do with it all. Last but not least, in the fifth row, we are using Void Weapon Channeling, which grants a temporary boost to Void Weapon damage after defeating a target with a fully charged Void ability. This mod is essential for maximizing damage output with Void Weapons. In conclusion, this Void build is a force to be reckoned with, which is perfect for any activity in Destiny. Our selected abilities, aspects, fragments, and armor mods work seamlessly together to create a devastating combination that will leave enemies in its wake. If you enjoyed this build and found it helpful, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting builds and gaming content. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your week.